dear viewers you are most welcome to my online class on genetics today i discuss epistasis its ratio is 13 is to 3 it is the deviation of mendel's second law i think this class will be very helpful to us deviation of mendel's second law there are many deviations such as complementary gene dominant epistasis duplicate recessive epistasis polygenic inheritance in a previous lecture i discussed complementary gene today i discuss dominant epistasis in next classes duplicate recessive epistasis and polygenic inheritance will be discussed dominant epistasis what is epistasis epistasis is an interaction between non allelic genes among which one gene suppresses the expression of another gene epistatic epi means over static means standing gene mask or prevents the expression of hypostatic gene which remain hidden or unexpressed the mendelian dihybrid ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is changed to 13 is to 3 due to epistatic interaction of genes now i give a and give an example for example leg horns wine dot and ply mouth are white colored fowls experiments of batson and panet 1908 showed that white leg horns contain a color gene and a inhibitor gene due to presence of inhibitor gene color gene cannot be expressed so there is inhibitor gene is epistatic gene and color gene is hypostatic gene at first of explanation of epistasis we saw here white leghorn its genotype is capital c capital c capital i capital i whereas white wine dot its genotype is small c small c small i small i when this white leghorn this leghorn has color gene C for color gene and I for inhibitor gene. It has both gene, but color gene is hypostatic gene and inhibitor gene is epistatic gene. In presence of epistatic gene or inhibitor gene, color gene cannot be expressed. During gamete formation, from two capital C, one capital C comes to gamete. From two capital I, one capital I comes to gamete. As well as from white wine dot, its genotype is small c, small c, small i, small i. From two small c, one small c can comes to can come to gamete from two small i one small i can come to gamete when this gamete capital c and capital i is crossed with small c and small i they produce f1 this f1 has genotype capital C, small c, capital I and small i. Both color gene and inhibitor gene 
are present here. As a result, we get white fowls. Its phenotype is white. When we cross F1 with F1, we get F2. Here, both are both fowl has capital C small c, capital I small i. This male fowl creates four types of gametes, whereas also female creates four types of gametes. These four types of gametes are capital C, capital I, capital C, small i, small c, capital I, and fourth gamete is small c, small i. This female fowl also creates four types of gametes, capital C, capital I, capital C, small i, small c, capital I, and small c, small i. Any gametes can cross any female gametes. Any male gametes can be fertilized with any female gametes. This is checkerboard. Any gametes, any, these are male gametes, these are female gametes. Any male gametes can be crossed or can be fertilized with any female gametes. Here, capital C and capital I is crossed with capital C, capital I as a result. Genotype is capital C, capital C, capital I, capital I. Both color gene and inhibitor gene are present here. As a result, phenotype is white. They are also capital, uh, capital C and capital I are present. As a result, phenotype is white. Here also capital C, capital I, as a result, phenotype is white. Both color and inhibitor gene present here, as a result, phenotype is white. Here also, both color and inhibitor gene present, as a result, phenotype is white. This is exception, here color gene are present, but inhibitor gene are absent. As a result, this fowl is colored. This is exception. Uh, here, due to absence of inhibitor gene, color gene can be expressed. As a result, fowl is colored or phenotype is colored phenotype. Here, color and inhibitor gene are present. As a result, phenotype is white. Here, color gene present, but inhibitor gene uh, is absent. As a result, this fowl is colored. Here, color and inhibitor gene present. As a result, phenotype is white. Here, color and inhibitor gene are present. As a result, phenotype is white. Here, color gene absent, but inhibitor gene present. As a result, no color gene uh, present here. As a result, fowl is white. Here, color gene absent, but inhibitor gene present. As a result, fowl is white. Here, color and inhibitor gene both are present. As a result, fowl is white. Here, color gene present, but inhibitor gene absent. As a result, this fowl is colored. Here, color gene absent, inhibitor gene present. As a result, fowl is white. Here, both color and inhibitor gene is recessive. As a result, fowl is white. From this checkerboard, we get only three color fowl, but others 13 are white. So, the phenotypic ratio of epistasis we get here 
white fowl is 13 and color fowl is 3. We get the ratio 13 is to 3. Thanks to remain with me. Please subscribe my channel. Please like and comment.